Hello everyone, it's Cleofia again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this car seat canopy. This is my gift to a friend of mine who's going to have a baby and I thought I want to share this with you. So to give you an idea for your new baby or for a baby shower present. I don't have a car seat so the way this would work is imagine this is the handle of the car seat. So the handle would be right here on the strings and you would tie these strings onto the handle and like this. And the blanket would cover the baby in the car seat and protect him or her from the elements. And this front opening here will allow you to check on the baby. You can take a sneak or you can open it like this. Now let's get started. For the materials, I tried this big donut design, which is a new format of packaging the yarn from Caron. And it looks like this, like a donut. This is size 4, medium weight yarn. And one skein is about is 502 yards, and I used two skeins. And this is in mint julep color. For the crochet hook, I used size H, 5 millimeter crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. Let's take it out of its packaging. And in this section, pull this apart. And there's this plastic that's holding it together in a circle. Cut this off. Then I'm going to uh, pull this plastic, pull it out. Then I'm going to separate each collar, pull this first collar like this. And then right here where the collar change, I'm going to cut this off. So I will have five collars. And for this project's purposes, this is color A, B, C, D, and E. So starting with color A, start with a knot and chain 53. So for this pattern, it's a multiple of 6 plus 5. So chain 53. And this would now be my 53 chains. And still with color A, let's start with row 1, which is double crochet in fourth chain from hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4, double crochet in this chain. Double crochet in the next chain. And it would start like this, then chain three, one, two, three, skip next three chains, one, two, three, and starting here in this next chain, we're going to double crochet in the next three chains. So starting here, one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, chain three, one, two, three, skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next three chains starting here in the next one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Repeat, chain three, one, two, three, skip three chains. One, two, three, and double crochet in the next three chains starting here. One, two, and three. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did the three double crochets to continue. Chain three. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and then to end this row, double crochet in the last three chains, starting here. So one, two, 
and 3. So this is how to end row 1 and this is what row 1 looks like. Row 2, still with color A, we're going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3, turn. Skip the first 3 double crochets right here. And then in this skip chains in the first row right here, in this 3 skip chains, we're going to double crochet in these chains and yarn over the chain 3 space. So in this first chain, double crochet, yarn over the chain 3 space. So 1, Double crochet in the next chain, next skip chain, and double crochet in the next skip chain. And it looks like this. Then chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next three double crochets, and then repeat the pattern, double crochet in the next three skip chains of the first row, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. Then chain three, one, two, three, skip the next three double crochets right here, then repeat the pattern in the three skip chains of first row, double crochet, yarning over the chain three space like this. So the first one, one, two, and three. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the three double crochets to continue. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next three double crochets and do the last repeat. Double crochet in the skip chains, yarning over chain three space. So one, two, and three. Now to end this row, we're going to chain three. So chain three, one, two, three, skip the next two double crochets, and then single crochet on top of the turning chain right here. So this is how to end row two, and this is what row two looks like. Row 3, still with color A, chain 2, 1, 2, turn, skip the first stitch, so skip this one, and then on the two stitches, two rows below, uh, double crochet in those two stitches, yarning over the chain 3 space, so 1 and 2. Then chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Skip the next three stitches or the next three double crochets, and then in the next three skip stitches, we're going to double crochet on these stitches, yarning over the chain three space like this one, two, three, and this is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern chain three. Skip the next three stitches, then double crochet in the next skip, in the next three skip double crochets, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. Re this is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next three stitches. And double crochet in the next three skip stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row, so I just did the three double crochets. To continue from here, chain three, one, two, three, skip the next three stitches, and then in the last two skip stitches, double crochet on these stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So that's one and two. To end this row, double crochet in the first chain of beginning chain 
three of row two right here. So double crochet on this chain. And I'm going to switch to color B for the next row. So for this last double crochet, stop before the last loop right here like this. Drop color A, then pick up our color B. This will be my color B. Then uh, draw color B and pull through last loop like this. So this is how to end row two, row three, and this is what row three looks like. Now with color B, we're going to continue with row four. So this is color B. Row four is chain three. One, two, three, turn. Skip the first three double crochets, then double crochet in the skip three double crochet in the skip three stitches, two rows below, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Then chain three and skip the next three double crochets and repeat the pattern double crochet in the skip three stitches yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Repeat chain three or continue skip the next three double crochets and double crochet in the skip three stitches, the two rows below, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. And continue this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So to continue, I just did a three double crochets, chain three, skip the three double crochets, then double crochet on the three skip stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. Then to end this row, chain three, one, two, three, and skip the next two double crochets, and single crochet on top of beginning chain two right here. So this is how to end row four, and this is what row four looks like. Still with color B, uh, continue with row five, chain two, turn, double crochet in the next two skip stitches right here, and yarning over the chain three space, so this one here. One, double crochet in this chain, on this stitch, and two. This is what it looks like. Then chain three, one, two, three. Skip three stitches, or three double crochets. Then double crochet in the next three skip stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Continue, repeat the pattern, chain three, skip the next three stitches, and double crochet in the next three skip stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video, and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the three double crochets. And to continue, we're going to chain three from here, skip the next three stitches, then double crochet in the last two skip stitches right here, yarning over the chain three space. So this one, one, and two. Then end with a double crochet, so this double, and with a double crochet on the first chain of the beginning chain three of prior row right here. And then we're going to switch colors again at this point. So, so for this double crochet, stop before the last loop like this. Drop color B and pick up color C. So this is our color C. 
Then draw color C and pull through last loop like this. So this is how to end row 5. And we have now switched to color C and now ready for the next row. And this is what row 5 looks like. Rows 6 to 41, just repeat rows 4 and 5. So just the last two rows, that's our pattern repeat, just rows 4 and 5. And then alternate the colors between uh, colors A, B, C, D, and E consecutively. So every two rows, change the color consecutively. So from here, continue with color C and then after two rows, continue with color D, and after two rows, continue with color E, and then back to A. This is what the piece looks like after the first round of alternating the five colors. So the number of colors is totally optional. You can use one color all throughout, and the pattern would still be the same, just a repeat of rows four and five. Or you can only use two colors or three colors. The pattern is still the same. So first three rows is color A, then four and five is color B, then repeat color, I mean row four and five for color C, then repeat four and five for color D, and repeat four and five for color E. Then from here, go back to color A. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 41 to show you the next step. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 41. So this is the close-up of the piece. So pan it to the left and our last stitch is on the top left. Next, to close the chain 3 spaces, I'm going to crochet one last row which would be row 42. So for row 50, 42, the color is optional but for this project, I choose a color C. So just to give it a contrast, so uh, join color C and then yarn over and pull through to finish the last stitch of this row, of row 41. Then we can begin row 42. So for row 42, chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first chain, so first stitch right here, then single crochet in the next two stitches, one, and two, then double crochet in the next three skipped stitches right here, yarning over the chain three space. So here, double crochet on this stitch, one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Then single crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, and three, then repeat the pattern, double crochet in the next three skip stitches right here, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. And this is what it looks like. Then continue, single crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, three, and repeat the pattern, double crochet in the skip in the next three skip stitches right here and yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, and three. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did a three single crochets. Next is double crochet in the skip in the next three skip stitches, yarning over the chain three space. So one, two, three. Then to end this row, single crochet in the last three stitches. So right here, starting here, single crochet, one, two, and three. So this is how to end row 42, and this is what row 42 looks like. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 42. So at this point, we are done with our first panel. So this piece is done, 
And this will be our first panel. We're going to crochet another panel of exactly the same pattern because we will need two panels for this project. And these are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern. So lay it like this with the last rows of each panel facing each other in opposite direction like this. So, so this is top panel. The first three row is on the top. And then the last rows are here next to each other. Move the panel closer. So to close the gap, move it like this. And then I'm going to turn this way, vertical. And from the top, measure about 17 inches and put a marker right here. There's a marker. And then from the marker, sew the uh, edges together to close this gap. So sew it all the way down up to the end right here. And this will be the front opening up to the marker. And this is now what the piece looks like after the two panels are sewn together. So this is now one piece. So we sew the two edges here at the top. Right here, there is we sew. And then this is the opening. And I also clean up the tail. So weave those joining ends. So these are my remaining yarns and using these I will crochet one round of double crochet as a border. I'm going to start here at the bottom, go towards left, go up, then the top, then go to the other side and end here. And this is now the piece looks like after crocheting a border. So color is optional but for this project I use the dark green here on the side all the way to the top and then the top portion is blue and then on the other side right here I use the uh, light green. Now the last thing to do is to crochet the strings. So color is optional, I just use whatever's left with my yarn. So I started with 100 chains, so this is 100 chains. Then from here, you can just um, slip stitch in second chain from hook. So one, two, slip stitch here. So just slip stitch and this will be the string. Slip stitch in each chain like this. And this is just how I did my string. It looks like this. Or you can also do what I did, which is drop the light green color, pick up the dark green and draw through the loop and do the same pattern, which is slip stitch in second chain from hook right here. So slip stitch in this chain, slip stitch in the next chain and in each chain across. So same pattern, two options. So just to use up all the remaining yarns. And this is now what my string looks like. So this is a two color combination or you can only do one color. And we will make two strands of this string. And with 100 chains, this measures about 24 inches. Next, I'm going to sew the string onto the piece. But what I did, uh, using the long tail, I run it through the string up to here at the center of the string. So this is the long tail right here. And then using this long tail, I'm going to use this to sew onto the piece so that the string doesn't come off. So I inserted one end onto the piece like this and then pull it out about one inch, pull it back out, up. Then using the long tail, sew it onto the piece so that it doesn't come off. Then after sewing it, I just run it through again on the string to the other side, then fasten off. And this is now what the piece looks like after the strings are attached. And at this point, we're done! And here's a close-up of the string. It doesn't come off, so it's sewn onto the piece. So for the measurements, the width is about 27 inches. And then top to bottom, or the length is about 38 inches. 
top here to the agent. If you are new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.